Hello everyone, this is Cooler Master Representative Pim with an awesome new adventure today on how to set a macro for your Cooler Master Storm gaming keyboard. I will be using the Cooler Master Storm Trigger Z. Before we start, I would like to recommend you to download the latest software at gaming.coolermaster.com. Start up the software. This is the first page, also known as the configuration page. In the navigation menu we find two more buttons, Profiles and Macro Studio. We will start with the configuration page. This is the place to be to assign keys. With an overview of the keyboard we can select a single key and assign a function. Let me guide you with this simple step. First I will select the key to modify. Let's assign an advanced option. Now I will select Calculator and apply it by clicking OK. The button lights up, indicating that the key has been modified. I also want the key to launch a program. Select the key, click on Launch a Program, search for a program that you would like to launch. This part is vital to succeed on using modified keys. The function key on the right side of your keyboard is your best buddy. The function key helps you out in cycling through different lab modes and the use of dedicated media buttons found on the function buttons. To use a modified key you need to press down the function button and at the same time you need to press down the modified key. Some users might experience some problems at this point. The modified key won't work. Let's find out the problem. In the software button 1 to 5 can't be modified. How come? The buttons are preset to cycle between different profiles. As an example, button 1 will activate profile 1. This is the profile that I'm currently using. To activate a profile, hold down the function key and a profile key that you would like to use. Remember, you can cycle between 5 different profiles. Make sure you use both the function key and a profile key at the same time to cycle between profiles. When you activate a profile, the LEDs on the keyboard will flash a single time to indicate the profile switch. Let's try our modified keys. Here we go. Calculator. So exciting. The next one is more promising. Let's head back to the software. As you can see, there's an all key list. This is an overview of all the keys with an assigned function. Number 7 is assigned to the calculator. Number 8 is assigned to an app, also known as a program. Alright, one more option before we start creating our own personal macro. Profiles. In this option we can manage different profiles. There are two options to save profiles. Keyboard RAM and PC RAM. For now I'll use my personal profile named Cooler Master PIM. Sorry for the small delay, but let's create a macro. Click on New to create a macro. In this tutorial I will set up a macro for Dota 2. After that, save it. At the bottom of the software we find a record button. There are three options to record a macro. For now I will use God Mode, because I want no delay at all. Once you click on OK, it will start recording the keystrokes. Depending on what game you play, you want to set different keys. This macro will be used for items in-game. If you're familiar with Dota 2, I will use my Blink Dagger and my Shiva's Guard for this macro tutorial. My Blink Dagger is in slot 1 and my Shiva's Guard is in slot 2. So I will make use of key 1 and 2 located on my keyboard. Now I will click on stop. It's really easy to edit macros. Click on the preset command and modify it by clicking on the on-screen keyboard. For now I will use button number 2. Copying commands and deleting them is also an option. Don't forget to save when you're done. Let's move back to the storm configuration page to assign the Dota macro to a key. I will use the macro buttons located on the left side of the trigger Z. Click on macro button number 1 and assign the function macro. 
choose a macro. In this case I will choose the macro Dota 2. Here we also find a few playback options. Play once, play a specific number of times, toggle on and off, and loop when pushed. For now I will use toggle on and off for maximum macro pleasure and click on OK. As you can see the macro shows up in the all key list. Macro button number 1 is assigned to a macro. All we need to do is close the software to reprogram the keyboard. Alright guys, I'm ready to use my god mode macro. That's why I picked Zeus. I will press down macro button number 1 on the trigger Z and it will activate the Blink Dagger and the Shiva's Guard in a loop. Alright guys, that's all for now. Thank you for joining me on my macro adventure. Bye!